Work with the Luminex. We're here in Highlands, New Jersey. I got a uh, text message, a kind of squirrel, and about four minutes later, got another signal. And uh, and those uh, those sensors uh, go speak to the transmitter every two hours. So when I got like another signal four minutes later, later that means the second track went went off. And then they've been going off in tandem every two hours, so and I can hear them in there. So we'll see what happens, see if we got squirrels. That's very good news. This is day two, and I didn't have to come yesterday, uh, Monday. I hear, I hear another one. Yep, see how lively they are? Because we just caught these. Just caught them, they're fresh, fresh captures. And uh, we already anticipated these are the ones going up into the roof, roofing spot up here. Uh, that's the, you know, up, 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 up in this, uh, up in this, wow, well, out of focus. Oh, because I have it. Let me see. Yeah, so over, over here where they're pop, popping up in there, they're climbing the fence and then going up onto the, up into the uh, attic. And uh, I already suspected that, so I set up everything. And oh, these guys are really fast, and they're going at it. They're not tired. They ate all the food, the nuts, and everything. See the traps, Mark. See the sensors. Sensors are right here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and reset these sensors, and I'm just keep them here. I didn't bring. Uh, Replacement traps today because I was out on the road when I got this got this um, notification. So now that sensor is now uh, turned off. Just leave that there. So when I come back or send my other guy back, I'll tell him to harness the traps back up. Sensors will be in place. That's what I like about these. The sensor's not uh, being attached to the trap, but you can do a quick, quick replacement. You can do a quick uh, trap exchange without worrying about uh, the complicated uh, setup because there's linkage involved. It's it a little complex when you send the guy out and uh, you know a test one way, but then the reality uh, when it, when a door goes off. Sometimes it'll it'll yank the trap trap off the door, or it might prevent the trap from closing all the way. If the wind blow blew the uh, lanyard, it could uh, interfere with the uh, mechanism and may not even close the trap all the way. So it's too many complications. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the uh, transmitter to save time, save uh, battery power. Let me see. It's a little tricky. If I knew I was going to come back, come back tomorrow morning, if I knew for sure I'd plug the sucker in. It's got like a gel pack in there. But the full charge, it could last up to probably a, probably three weeks without giving me a low battery charge. And every day, it's, it's awesome. Like every day, it's talking to me, telling me the unit is uh, working. And then it tells me, when it tells me it has a low battery life, it still has three days left. We're gonna go for a ride, these guys. Take a picture first. Uh, take a picture first so the uh, can uh, inform the clients of, of the good news. He's not here. So if I took these scrolls away, like he, he wouldn't know. He wouldn't have known. And, uh, cause yesterday they were sitting out here doing nothing. So like over almost 48 hours, it's kind of like, uh-oh, we didn't catch anything. And then bam, then you catch two within four minutes of each other. So that was pretty cool. All right, Derek with the Lemon X, I'm going to make a part two of the video of uh, me give them some water. Oh, they're trying to chew. You guys are going for a ride. I'm going to go, for, go to, they go to the end of the town. There's a, there's a, uh, a river, and I'll let them go there. So they 
open space area. Plenty of trees and nuts and acorns. I know, right? Your home's not here now, you're evicted. And this is great because we didn't have to put the uh, traps in the attic, in the hot attic. And then the homeowner's not here, right? Like, how would I, how would I coordinate with the homeowner to come get the, go come rescue the squirrel in a hot attic, 120, 140 degrees in the attic? Uh, you know, how would I be able to rescue that within four hours' time, sitting in that heat? So I don't like, I don't like, I don't put traps in the attic unless it's an absolute emergency or we're, you know, some specialty situation or a monitor situation. But with squirrels, we just put the traps on the exterior. It works great. With the trap smart system, it's very humane and real time. And then, you know, we're on the road, we, the trap goes off. Like, it'll save us a trip. If someone's near the area, we go tell them to go pick up the trap. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm picking them up. Even though I don't have replacement traps. But at least I'll pick them up. All right. Derek with the Lemonex. Highlands uh, next to Keyport. Have a good day.